Hi, and welcome to this month's quick tip. Today, we're going to go over the basics of our new tune material and how to go beyond the photorealistic images you've been able to create in Keyshot. With Keyshot 4.1, we've added a non-realistic tune shader, which allows you to add colors, shading, and contour lines to your object for a more illustrated look. These materials are fully customizable and fully respect applied textures and labels. In this scene here, I've already applied the correct colors I wanted to my model. If I want to change the material to the new tune type, all I have to do is double click the material to bring up the material editor, then select tune under special materials. It will retain the previous material color for that part and you can change that color to any color, including colors from our Pantone and RAL libraries. The contour color is the color of the lines that are drawn on that material. Here, I'll change the contour angle, which defines the number of interior contour lines on a tune material. For example, a higher angle value will decrease the number of interior contour lines, and a lower number will decrease them. The contour width is the thickness of the line in pixels. I can adjust the line thickness by dragging the slider or type in any specific value I want. Additionally, the contour quality will allow you to define the quality of the line. A lower value here will give you more of a sketch look and a higher value will give a more refined, clean line. I've already created this material library for this specific model, so I'll drag these over onto my model to finish painting it. Once you have the right color defined for your material, it's really easy to change that material to a tune material. Just select it from your library and you can go in and adjust the properties. Under the Advanced tab, you have more options for your tune materials. For example, I can turn on Environment Shadows which will show highlights and cast shadows on this material. The lighting is taken directly from the HDR environment used in the scene. I can change the shadow multiplier as well, which will change the intensity of the shadows on my parts. Additionally, since tune materials do respect color, bump, and opacity textures, I can bring over any of my textures and apply them to the tune materials. In this scene, I have a pretty complicated series of gears in this transmission assembly. However, if I wanted to show them through the side of the housing, I will apply an opacity map on top of my tune material. I'm going to double click the material to select it and then drag over an opacity map to give it a see-through appearance. Now you can see the inside of the transmission housing. Our new non-realistic tune material allows even greater flexibility with Keyshot 4.1.